Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll be showing you how to fix a issue on um, any laptop. Um, in this case, I'm using an Acer, but it can happen with any laptop. And it's basically, I'll show you how to fix the issue where your laptop won't turn on unless holding down some specific keys, a particular key or a set of keys. All right? And in some cases as well, it might be that it won't um, power off as well unless you do this. Now, in this case, when this um, system was booting up, um, a client sent this in for fixing. What would happen is that um, as soon as the laptop started to boot up, it would seem as if it's starting up. And then, of course, it will reboot. And then you'd be taken back to the black screen. You'd see the ASL or um, Dell or whatever logo. And then it would attempt to start up again, but it wouldn't start up. Or maybe it would start up in some rare cases and then it randomly restarts. All right. So this is a very um, weird or peculiar um, issue. In most cases, to get it to boot up, you might find that if you hold down um, shift, or so in some cases control, or it can be any of these keys. If you hold down any particular key or combination of keys, for example, like shift in some cases, you might find that the laptop always boot all the way up. If you let go of those keys, you find out that the laptop will simply start to restart. In some cases as well, while it's on, you can let go in some cases you might even have to keep holding down shift or something like that to prevent it from rebooting all right now of course i'll explain what the issue is now in this case the problem is caused by your keyboard now i'm sure that's the last thing you'll guess in most cases the keyboard is defective and what's happening is that you're getting phantom presses or basically it's interfering with the operation of the pc and that's why by holding down shift or whatever key that you held down the PC was able to um, start up or should I say laptop I don't know I'm saying PC all right but you do get the idea so the um, solution to this in most cases is to change the keyboard now um, before I show you how to do anything to solve it hundred percent I'm going to show you first how you can work around this in case one it will take a while before it's repaired so in case you're doing it yourself or you're taking it into the shop and um, of course, two, in case you do not have the money right away to fix the issue, I'll show you a quick workaround. All right. Now, the workaround in most cases is that if it starts up, it will be working. Your um, mouse will work, but of course, some keys might stop working. Um, in my case, some keys have actually stopped working. So if you see, for example, I'll press the Windows key, which should bring up the Windows menu. I'm getting nothing. Or maybe some of the keys are working. So first, um, you can use a secondary keyboard so if you have a usb keyboard or in my case i have a wireless keyboard that uses a dongle go ahead and um, attach the dongle to your pc so it'll simply connect a secondary keyboard it can be a wired or wireless this is our um, wireless one um, if i attach the dongle i'll be able to type using the wireless keyboard and i'll be able to use my um, pc as normal um, in some other cases that doesn't work so what i advise is that you use what I call the on-screen keyboard. Now to find the on-screen keyboard, use your mouse. You're gonna go down into the settings menu over here. Next, um, once the menu come, um, appears as seen here on screen, and that's at the search menu, sorry. You're gonna click the start menu. So simply click the Windows logo. Then you're gonna go to um, settings. So click the gear icon. Once you're here, guys, you're going to look for the option that says, um, if I'm remembering this correctly, ease of access. So simply go into ease of access. All right, guys. So once you're here, you're going to go over to um, ease of access, which is this um, icon there, seeing that we need um, accessibility. Now, once you're here on the, um, this option, you're going to go down to um, the option over here at the side that says, all right, guys. So once you're here, you're going to scroll down. You're going to look over here. You're not going to see anything. If you move down. You're going to see the option for keyboard. Once you click on keyboard, you're going to have the option over here on the ease of access to turn on the on-screen keyboard. Mine is um, already on, but let me show you it's going to say off. Go ahead and um, turn this on. Once you do, the keyboard is going to appear. And what this does is if you have an extra mouse, like a wireless mouse, or even your um, touchpad, you'll be able to type, which could hold you over until your replacement keyboard or until you get it fixed. So once you do that and the keyboard appears on screen, it's going to be this icon. You're going to right click. Sorry. You're going to right click. 
Once you right click, the option is gonna show. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened just now. Let me just close this out. You're gonna right click. Let me minimize this. And you're gonna um, pin. Mine is already pinned. So for you, it will say unpin. For me, it says unpin, but for you, it's gonna say pin. Go ahead and pin it. Meaning even if you close the keyboard or minimize, well, if you close the keyboard, it still is gonna be here. So if I go ahead and close this out 100%, I can still easily find the shortcut here whenever I need to input text I need to tap simply click on a field and then I can type all right so that's for basic websites and stuff like that it wouldn't work for a full-on typing but if you attach a extra keyboard it should work just the same so of course I'm just balancing it out giving you options so just in case you missed it you can use the on-screen keyboard for input or you can get a wireless keyboard or a USB keyboard connected to your laptop and you'll be able to input text once you're having um, this problem. These are just um, two workarounds. Um, however, if you need to solve this problem 100%, you'll need to replace the keyboard. Now I'll have two separate tutorials on how to change the keyboard because there are two main types of keyboards you'll run into once you're dealing with these laptops. Um, so if you wanna figure out how to change both, I'll show you both. But let me explain what they are. Now I'm gonna link in the description two different tutorials. One for changing the simple version of keyboards that's easy to change. Or secondary, how to get the um, more difficult type of keyboards changed. Now in this case, this particular laptop is using the very difficult keyboard. If you look here, the keyboard is buried deep inside of the laptop and there's no way for it to come out as seen here. You'd have to actually remove this section and then it will have to be separated so it's on the inside there's no way to lift it from this side the simpler keyboards to change would be the other laptops i have a tutorial on that already those involve simply removing some screws from the back and then of course th those keyboards can prop up from this side and then you simply detach a um, ribbon and then that's it you simply replace it with the replacement keyboard but as i said this is a difficult one it can only be changed from the other side there's nothing to flip up from this side now of course i've already bought the replacement keyboard so this one is a little bit tricky and um, in case you missed it here's the keyboard uh, let me do, i can't show you everything so let me just um so this is the keyboard this is the replacement uh, i will blur out sections of this i don't want my address being leaked so of course this is the replacement i'll show you in a separate video um, that video will be linked below in the description where I show you to disassemble this laptop, this exact laptop, and change all the keyboard. I also have a secondary video for those with a simpler keyboard that can be changed from this side. Alright, so I hope I've explained everything um, clearly. And of course, um, as we said, the only way to 100% fix this is to change the keyboard. So if you are um, up for that tutorial, go ahead and look in the description. I'll place both guides, one for this particular laptop with a difficult keyboard and one for the simpler keyboard to change. So both of them should run you through the process. Sorry guys. Um, if you have any questions, ask them below. I'll gladly answer them. So Ricardo Garden as usual from Blog Tech Tips. Saying bye until next time. Love you guys and bye.